Hello YouTubers, Reloading Bench back with you once again, and I can promise you this is not another welding helmet. Uh, this was, uh, I'll, I'll call this hmm, not necessarily reloading related. I mean, you could make a stretch for it. I'm going to call it, uh, what do I want to call it? <laughs> I don't know what I want to call it. Um, this was on uh, gun.deals. I like to search gun.deals for for deals. And this was a deal. Wow, we got a lot of packing for that deal. And this is very, very... Let me put the packing back in. I'm a sucker for the half-offs. This is a large... And this is... This is made by CV Life. I've actually had CV Life reach out to me to do uh, sponsored videos. I'm not a big fan of uh, hawking somebody else's wear. So I buy my stuff, and then I choose to uh, give an honest evaluation. And I'm not saying I couldn't give an honest evaluation if CV Life sent this to me, but uh, they did not send it to me. I bought this, and I bought it at half off. I'm a fan of half off. Wow. CB Life spent a lot of money on tape. Let's see if we can get rid of some of all this tape. This. So I would not call myself a prepper either. I like to be prepared, but I'm not a prepper. I don't stock, you know, 10 years worth of food. I may have uh, a week's worth of food and water. But uh, I'm not uh, into the extreme prepping uh, phase of life. Uh, never was. But uh, I like to be prepared. And uh, this, to me, this is an item that helps one be prepared. And, well, we have a lot of tape, that is for sure. And yet, we even have more. Okay, I think, is that the end of the tape? No, I've got tape on the other, the other side. So this is hella taped. And uh, I don't know if the tape is to compress this. So let me try and get this last bit of tapey tape off. So that we can open this thing. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen so much tape on a commercial product. Usually, you know, if I buy something off the auction sites, this is how it comes. So we have tape, and we have a big-ass bag. All right, we're getting close. Let me get the scissors out of the way so I don't cut anything. All right, so what this is... is a rather hefty uh, counting value for life. Oh, CV Life, counting value life. Mm, that's like LG, uh, Lucky Gold Star. Uh, back in the day, LG was Lucky Gold Star. Uh, this is made in China. Uh, I'm not surprised. What this is, is a backpack a very, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say large. It's not small by any means. Um, it's got some uh, Molly attachments over over here. Uh, let's see. This is I don't know where this one goes. Okay, this one goes right here. So this, this Molly attached, uh, this is a pouch, you know, a pouch of stuff, Molly webbing. Um, I have no idea what that's for, maybe a pen. Uh, kind of heavy duty on the, uh, the strapping. Uh, everything is, you know, polymer, no, no metal. 
except for, say, the, uh, the zipper. Uh, it is expandable, which is one of the reasons uh, I picked it up. So this would expand it out. Uh, I think, uh, if, I, if memory serves, it was on sale at, uh, I want to say, 50% off, which always catches my attention, which is probably a marketing gimmick that it's not really 50% off. It's, it's just marked 50% off, so you feel better buying it. Uh, I think this is, you know, if I was going to the range, I would say this is a, uh, a brass uh, bag like I use for my range bag, but I'm going to say this is more akin to, you know, a water bottle. And, uh, again, more webbing, you know, heavy duty stomach and back straps, and then cross straps on the back straps. Um, more molly, more molly, removable flag. Uh, maybe I can put my red, white, and blue flag on there too. I've had this for quite a while. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll maybe I'll finally put my red, white, and blue flag somewhere. I'll do so we've got subdued and now we have red, white, and blue. Uh, let's see what's in here. Pouch. Uh, what's in here? Okay, that's not good. Okay. We'll chalk that up to uh, manufacturing, oopsie, a uh, pouch there, hopefully that zipper will not break, and this, is, whoops, I think I just hit the camera, sorry. Uh, what do we have up top? Uh, we have another closure, closure, uh, again that expands a little bit, um, yeah this is uh, meant to uh, adjust for the expansion again, you know, depending on how much stuff you have in this thing And what do we have here? Uh, another closure And then we have what I would call a pretty large uh, interior pocket. Uh, this could be for a laptop keys keys uh, Lots of padding you know, it's, it's the denier, um, I don't know what that stuff's called, it's called 600, um, but again, for 30, I think it was 35 bucks shipped, um, to me worth it, uh, because I'll put this in my, you know, bag of stuff, I'll keep these in here, uh, along with this, because uh, I don't want to have it get lost. Uh, so I'm going to call this a type of, uh, you know, gear bag, um, good size gear bag. You know, it's, what do we got size wise? I'm going to say probably 24, 21 by, by 14 wide by, you know, depending on how, how you stuff it. I'm going to say six inches, but obviously can grow, you know, much. Let's see, what is that when it's fully, yeah, it's almost eight and change. So uh, I'm going to say this is a decent uh, outing bag, you know, call it a, a bug out bag, call it a bug in bag, call it a, call it whatever you want, but for 35 bucks, uh, not a bad deal from our friends at Country Value Life, CV Life, our friends in Chine. So I'm going to call this decent, you know, D-rings. Uh, I think, I, I want to say this is like for a pen. Let's grab a pen and see if it fits. And that works. Let's see if a pencil, I think a pencil is too thin. Yeah, a pencil too thin. Again, just a, uh, a decent uh, catch-all bag. Um, backpack, camping bag, miscellaneous, bug out, gear bag, get home bag, bug in bag, good old bag, as if for now, the good old bag, there's the thumbnail.